Okay, everyone, we got to talk about something. I let it slip under the radar. I didn't even notice it. And then when I saw it, I'm like, I feel kind of ashamed. It is the new Retro Realms Ash vs. Evil Dead and Michael Myers game. This is going to come to all platforms, which is amazing. And I've got to say, the retro style of this game is exactly what I'm looking for. It brings me back to my childhood playing NES and SNES games like Splatterhouse that were all about pure, simple, side-scrolling slasher fun. And the fact that I can take it on the go with the Switch version, yeah, it definitely makes it even better. There's just something about the retro aesthetic that just works for horror games. Maybe it's the pixelated graphics, the eerie 8-bit music, or the simple yet intense gameplay. This game's gonna feel like stepping into an old arcade, and let me tell you, that's exactly what I want. What I am excited for is also the potential. Each arcade could be different, one with Ash, another with Michael, and who knows, we could get Jason, Freddy, the possibilities are endless if the game does well. I love that we're not talking about some massive open world experience with overcomplicated storyline and learning curve or an asymmetrical horror game that makes people upset because it's not balanced enough. No, this is pure side-scrolling slasher goodness. You dive in, get your hands bloody, and have a blast. That's it. It reminds me so much of Splatterhouse. Just brutal, unapologetic fun. And for anyone who grew up playing the Super Nintendo, that's like a dream come true. The real magic of this game though, is the potential for more horror icons to be added to basically the arcade roster. If it takes off, imagine a future where we get Jason Voorhees slashing through Camp Crystal Lake or Freddy Krueger haunting your dreams in 16-bit form. The idea of each arcade being its own unique challenge with different killers and environments just kind of blows my mind. It's an endless fun with endless possibilities. I'm telling you, retro games like this hit differently for those of us who grew up in the 80s and 90s. There's something about the simplicity of them that makes them so timeless. You're not bogged down by tutorials, complicated mechanics, or over-the-top narratives. It's all about the action, the atmosphere, and the thrill of surviving or slashing your way through a nightmare. And of course, the atmosphere, the pixelated graphics paired with a tense, eerie soundtrack. I mean, that pixelated blood is insane. That's what horror gaming is all about, creating fear and excitement without relying on crazy CGI or jump scares. It's really just about the vibe. And this game looks like it's going to nail it. The retro style almost makes it scary in a way. There's something unsettling about those old school graphics that just amps up the horror. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm beyond excited for this game. Whether you're a fan of retro gaming, horror, or just love some good old fashioned side scrolling, this one's definitely for you. It's a perfect blend of nostalgia and horror, and I can't wait to dive into it, especially since I can get on the Switch. I can basically play it wherever I want. So what do you guys think? Are you as hyped as I am for this horror game? I cannot believe I actually let this slide on the radar. Let me know in the comments which version the arcade you're more excited to play, the Ash versus Evil Dead or the Michael Myers? Or maybe you're kind of like me and hoping that we'll see future legends like Jason or Freddy. If you enjoyed this video, just hit that like button and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.